Well, hello everybody. This is Longhead Lou's Live Adventures, and I am joined here by my cousin, Bob the Rancher. Say hi to everyone, Bob. Hey. All right, right now we are on a little little car exploring a ranch. A lot of land, a lot of land to cover. And let's just move on, and I'll give you a little perspective on the whole place, and we'll provide some commentary throughout the whole process. All right? Well then, so. Uh, make sure you take a, a right, and then we'll just take a, another uh, whirl around so we can get the get the scenes. Yes, we are going around. Boy, it is a magnificent place out here. You can't even imagine. It is beautiful, and I'm going to show you the landscape as we're going along. All right. Got a lot of green out here. Got a lot, lot to look at, a lot of cacti. Yes. Moving around. There we are. And now we got this nice shot of a big landscape. Yeah, we got a lot of bumpy roads. It's only you get in the ranch. <laughs> Boy, do we have a special treat for all you viewers out there. We're going to go to a, very, a nice special place in this land that, I mean, when I went to it, I was incredibly amazed. Let me bring it back now. Let me bring it back. When I went there, I was incredibly amazed. It was beautiful. It was like a place out of a fairy tale book. It's just unbelievable, incredible, wonderful, beautiful. You know, words could not describe it. It is just one of those little hidden treasures that you find in a lot of locations like these where you have a bunch of land and just unlimited potential here. Unlimited potential. There is really no limit here. Alright. Bam. Uh, we are going to go deeper in. Deeper in this ranch of a jungle. Now let me turn it away so y'all can look at the landscape here in a bit. heading out. So y'all can see this is a little thing we came in. Little cart. Yeah, we just had a little blast here. 
Uh, never, never rode many of these, so this is probably my second time riding it, but boy, look at the landscape. You can hardly imagine that this kind of hidden treasure would be around here, and you certainly couldn't tell because this is pretty, pretty far in. It's a pretty big area, a very, very gigantic monumental ranch, but just look at that. Look at that. It's so peaceful and beautiful. You got the water right around here. You got the glimmer of the sun reflecting. And you got all of this land right here. Just take in the beauty for a little while. Take it in. Look at that, it's beautiful. Beautiful. got lands you know where water touches ground right around here but it's just a very beautiful place it's almost like a secret hideout so hello everybody this is uh, long-haired Luz and this is my, my my cousin Bob the rancher and we're here to guide you and take you on this journey with us uh, this is the first time first appearance with him with uh, Bob here uh, so let's all make him feel welcome and part of the Lab Adventures family and uh, let's get to it. So, Bob, got a question for you, buddy. Yeah. Um, when was the first time you came you came around here? Mm, I have to say, it was, I was around nine years old, maybe eight. Nine to eight years old. That's crazy. Yeah, we fishing over here a lot. That's good. That's good. You ever catch any fish? Yeah, once in a while. <laughs> once in a while. Yeah. And I guess the fish sometimes don't bite, right? Uh, it's, uh, it's understandable, man. I mean, I remember there was a time when I went fishing in the lake too. Oh, two separate occasions, but both were the same result, the end result. Uh, the fish just weren't really biting. I think in one of them I got like one fish, and it was a, a rainbow trout. But that's it. And, you know, there's, it's just sometimes you have those days where nothing really happens. And you're just kind of left, uh, you're left fishless, fishless, fishless here. But yeah, so you want to give us a little bit of a tour around here, you know, kind of just explain what you see, uh, what, what we're seeing, and you know, give us maybe a little bit of background of this ranch. Yeah. Got a lot of cacti. <laughs> but yeah, okay, let's let's show them, let's show them for a little bit. Got a lot of cacti around here. Okay, we'll head towards the. Oh, you know what? We got one right here. We got a nice big one right here. But look at that cacti. You know, a lot of the, the a lot of these cacti have flowers, little flowers blooming on top, the yeah. yellow and. It's about that time. Yeah. Then we got more over there. A lot more. Yeah. So you were telling us uh, there's this is a cattle ranch. Yeah. There's a cattle ranch, huh? And how many cattle would you say are around here? More or less, at least a, little, a nice guess. Maybe 50, 60. It's a pretty big herd. Mm. 50, 60. That's a lot. That's a lot. So I'm guessing that at times there is a couple of fresh steaks in the dinner table, am I right? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Probably. Probably. But it's just a great land. You ever, you ever, you ever camp around here? Yeah, I've been thinking about that for a while. Yeah. Well, I mean, good yeah. I mean, I think earlier today I was, I was telling you that uh, we should definitely consider camping. You know, because I mean, we've talked about it before, and for all of you viewers out there. Um, my cousin and I, uh, we've talked about camping for a pretty long time and for years actually, but we've never just, never done it for one reason or another. And so, you know, when I came here, because this is my first time in this ranch, and like, kind of like y'all, I'm experiencing it for the first time right now. And I, once I saw it, I thought it would be perf a perfect place to, to, you know, have a little camping 
camping kind of weekend type of event where we just camp here for the weekend and just you know kind of uh, get into the nature of like into nature itself and you know uh, kind of get away from society and all these distractions can you hold on to this for a second I seem to have gotten caught uh, seem to have gotten caught show it down here show the viewers down here got caught right around here man you gotta make sure you gotta move this a little bit. Yeah, you got a big stick there. Uh, yeah. It had thorns on it too. But yes. But yeah. Sorry about that. Got a couple of thorns on a, stuck on my shoe. That's why it was pretty hard to take off. But yeah, you know, like I like I was mentioning, um, you know, I I just saw a lot of potential with this uh, with this this land, and I thought it'd be perfect to have a camping trip. So, what do you think, man? You think we should someday, at least maybe in the summer, yeah. we start camping out here regularly, maybe even go fishing? Heck yeah, man. I think that'd be a lot of fun. I mean, if you think about it, typically people have to go to, like, out of the out of town to go fishing, and it's all the spots are at least two to three hours away, no matter which, which whether you go north or south, you know? So, why not do it here when, you know, we're much closer, it's more... It's more private, so you know you don't have a bunch of people just everywhere making you know the no a bunch of noise and whatnot, and it just it becomes a little bit more more of like a, a, a spiritual journey. Got something interesting here for you folks. You're gonna love this. We got a cow pie. <laughs> this seems to be kind of old. Yeah. You got some old cow pies over here. yeah. We saw, I know while we were walk while we were driving over, we saw a bunch of cow pies everywhere. Oh yeah. And I tell you, if you could see it more in our in uh, through our eyes specifically, you would see that there's a bunch of cow pies through here. Uh, through everywhere, because you know the cattle I would imagine the cattle go through go through the, the trails and they come to this at least this is one of their drinking spots, am I right? Yeah, there's a creek up, uh, a bit more that way, mm -hmm. and then they come to this lake also, but a lot of them, they, they come over here because it has more water, so, mm. yeah. Well, I see, I see, I see.